Well, I didn't always know I wanted to become a doctor. I had, there were no doctors in my family. Uh, there was no one attached to medicine. It was engineers, artists, and so forth. But I really was attracted to the biological sciences in high school and in college. And in college, I was actually uh, majoring in pharmaceutical sciences. And that, in turn, allowed me to gain some exposure to the field of medicine. And I was immediately attracted and drawn in that direction. So maybe about halfway through my undergraduate years, I said, you know what, I want to do medicine, and ended up fulfilling all the prerequisites and going right to medical school. Why did I choose ophthalmology? Well, there's a common theme to my career path, which is one thing led to another. Um, I didn't always know I wanted to be an ophthalmologist. In fact, going into medical school, I was thinking cardiology, general surgery. Um, fortunately, and not all medical schools have this, but Harvard Medical School had a requirement to do a two-week rotation in ophthalmology. And so during my rotation, fortunately it was early on in medical school, I fell in love with it. Fell in love with it for several reasons. Ophthalmology was a dynamic field where patient and doctor satisfaction was very high. You could really make an impact in someone's quality of life. That stood out. Ophthalmology was also a great blend of medical and surgical care. You could do surgery to restore eyesight. There were medical problems you could treat in the office. You had both acute care and you had chronic care. It seemed like a great blend of all types of medical practice. From ophthalmology, I then chose retina. And again, that theme, one thing led to another. So I enter ophthalmology training, and um, all of it seemed to be something of, you know, really of interest. I could have enjoyed all aspects of ophthalmology, but I got exposed to retina and immediately drawn in that direction. Uh, why? Because retina seemed to me to be particularly challenging and exciting. Uh, retinal problems tend to be very serious and uh, usually vision is on the line and when you're doing surgery or treating someone in the office, um, you have a chance to make a big impact. And retina was a relatively new field just 20, 30 years ago. You couldn't do a lot then, but I saw a lot of developments, a lot of progress being made. And so I knew that it would be a very exciting subspecialty in ophthalmology. And it turned out to be that case. In retina, I have a lot of uh, areas of interest, but in particular, and for a long time, it's been macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. And there are also some strong surgical interests too, such as optimizing uh, retinal attachment repair rates. Um, but uh, in macular degeneration, it wasn't, wasn't long ago where we did not have good treatments, and it was and still is the leading cause of blindness in the senior pop age population. Uh, but we've made tremendous advance. Over the past 10 years, our field has exploded uh, with tremendous progress and um, we've lived a good time and there's a lot more we can do and so at Retina of course everyone in our group and on our service is a clinician we see patients we take care of medical and surgical problems but we, a lot of us also do research and so uh, we participate in major clinical studies we have our own research projects right here at Wills trying to make an impact trying to make progress uh, to better treat these conditions. I chose to have my career here at Wills, and effectively nearly my entire career has been here at Wills Eye. Um, I chose Wills because Wills stands out worldwide as the very top in terms of um, ophthalmic care and also in retina in particular for me. Why and how did I know that? Well, I trained here. I did my residency here. I did my retina fellowship here. Uh, going back to medical school, I had a military scholarship commitment, so I left Will's Eye and um, I actually went to the other coast, uh, the left coast or the, <laughs> uh, or the west coast, and um, uh, I spent four years practicing in the military doing retina. And uh, fortunately for me, when my four-year commitment was up, an opportunity came here at Will's and it was really an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to come back, join the staff here, and be part of the clinical care, the, the excellence in clinical care, the excellence in teaching, taught, teaching the top residents and fellows in ophthalmology, and also 
being part of the field, the forefront of the research aspect of the field with clinical trials. So Will's Eye really has it all, and from a career uh, standpoint, um, it's allowed me to really, the sky's the limit in terms of what I could attempt to accomplish in uh, bringing the field forward.